Good morning all. My name is Poonam Swapnil Zadho. I am working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see the prominent NLP libraries under Natural Language Processing course. NLTK NLTK stands for Natural Language Toolkit. It is popular open source library in Python, specifically designed for natural language processing. NLP task. NLTK provides a wide range of tools, resources, and algorithms to work with the human language data. In simpler terms, NLTK is like a toolbox that helps programmers and research workers with text and language data using the Python programming language. It offers a collection of functions and modules for tasks such as tokenization, streaming, limitization, part of speech tagging, parsing, and more. NLTK serves as a powerful toolkit for working with natural language data, making it easier for developer and researcher to build the NLP applications and conduct linguistic analysis using the Python programming language. It is an open source Python library used for natural language processing NLP tasks. It provides a fast and efficient way to process and analyze text data by offering a wide range of pre-built linguistic models and functionalities. In simpler terms, SPICE is a toolkit that helps with understanding and processing text using the Python programming language. It offers various features such as tokenization, part of speech tagging, named entity recognition, dependency parsing, and more. The advantages are it is built to be fast and efficient. It is designed with performance in mind, allowing for quick processing of large amount of text data. Pre-trained models. SPICE provides pre-trained models for various languages which are trained on large corpora of text data. Integration and compatibility. SPICE integrates well with other Python libraries and frameworks commonly used in data science and machine learning such as NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-learn. TextBlob is a Python library built on top of Natural Language Toolkit and the Pattern Library. It provides an easy to use interface for processing and analyzing the textual data by offering a wide range of natural language processing functionalities. In simpler terms, text blob is like a simplified wrapper around NLTK that makes it simpler for Python programmers to perform common NLP tasks without requiring extensive knowledge of NLP algorithms or complex coding. The advantages of TextBob are TextBob provides a simple and intuitive API that makes it easy for developers, even those with limited NLP experience, to perform common NLP tasks. Sentiment Analysis TextBob built in Sentiment Analysis feature allows for quick and accurate sentiment classification of text. Spelling Correction TextBob includes a spell checking feature that can automatically correct misspelled words in the text. 
Gensium. Gensium is an open source Python library designed for topic modeling, document similarity analysis, and other natural language processing NLP tasks. It focuses on providing efficient and scalable implementations of various algorithms for analyzing large collections of text data. Gensim is like a toolbox for working with large amount of text data and extracting meaningful information from it. The advantages are like it offers utilities like text processing including tokenization, stemming, limitization, and stockhold removal. Efficiency and scalability. It is designed to handle large scale text data efficiently. Word vector representations. It includes models for learning distributed word vector representations such as word to vec and doc to vec. Integration with other libraries. It integrates well with other popular libraries like NumPy, Kaipa, and GitLearn. I hope you all have understood properly the prominent libraries in NLP. Thank you.